all right welcome back to my channel family on today the shout out goes to all of you thank you thank you thank you we have reached 200 subscribers better known as 200 family members and i couldn't be more grateful if you have not already joined the family make sure you click that subscribe button guys and that notification bell so you're notified each time i upload a video so on today i want to show you how to properly moisturize low porosity hair i'm starting off with dry hair guys you know if you watched my last few videos that my hair has been in this protective style for about a week and i wanted to show you guys how i moisturize my hair now because i'm low porosity guys my hair gets very dry very fast and it literally feels like wool if you touch it so what i'm gonna do guys is show you how i properly put moisture back into my hair and if um, you are a low porosity girl you should be doing this a few times a week we're going to be using the lco method the l stands for liquid guys and for my liquid i'm going to be applying hot water because that is the best liquid moisturizer it aids in opening up our cuticles and allowing the moisture to penetrate it is similar to using a heating cap when you're deep conditioning your hair and you know how good and how moisturizing your hair feels when you get up under heat or when you use a heating cap to apply moisture to your hair and that is essentially the same thing we're going to be doing by applying hot water to our hair now you don't have to use water this is just how i properly moisturize my hair i always use warm water so keep watching guys So I'm going to use water like I stated previously. I want you guys to know that you do not have to use water. I know some people even use aloe vera juice, just some kind of moisturizing liquid to get into your hair strands. But I found that warm to hot water is best because that is what opens up our cuticles. Applying aloe vera is a great moisturizer, but I don't know if it will open up your cuticles the way hot water does. So what I'm gonna do guys is drench, and yes, I did say drench, my hair in hot water. You guys know I use this mist spray bottle because it just works better for me. Um, so if you have this spray bottle, then you know what I mean. If you don't, you guys should definitely, definitely try it out. What I'm doing is sectioning my hair, making sure to get the water um, inside of my hair. My hair is very, very thick, so I don't just want to apply it uh, to the outside sections, guys. I want to actually get down into the scalp. And then again, because I'm low porosity, I have to uh, kind of massage the water into my hair so that it actually gets down into my hair and if you look closely you'll see that when i spray water it actually sits on top of my on top of my hair and that's because again i am low porosity so what i'm going to do is just work this in to each strand making sure to get in there really well making sure to kind of drench each part so that we know that the moisture is really getting into our hair so keep watching guys
and you can already see how moisturizing my hair already looks than before so it really works guys so our next part is our cream and i'm going to be using a leave-in conditioner because it conditions the hair while providing additional moisture in the form of a cream you have a lot of choices um, you can pick a leave-in conditioner or curl cream or a smoothing cream but you definitely want some kind of cream to go into your hair this is just adding additional moisture to your hair other than the water that we put in previously so it's up to you guys the cream of your choice whatever cream you like from any line that you like we just want to make sure that this cream is adding additional conditioning properties to our hair The leave-in conditioner that I am using is one that I created in a few videos back. If you guys do not know what I'm talking about, be sure to click the card above to watch that video. This leave-in will add additional moisture to our hair and it's so creamy and it's so thick that um, it'll aid in the moisture. It'll go on top of the water to add additional uh, moisturizing properties to our hair and that's what we want we want to really saturate our hair with moisture because being in a protective style and being a low porosity girl we know it's very very easily to lose moisture out of our hair even with us doing all of this uh, moisture and sealing is still very easy for moisture to evaporate out of our hair so we want to really really get that moisture in there and using this leave-in conditioner does just that so keep watching guys we can already see how much better my hair is looking now that I've added that moisture in there. So the next step in our process is to seal all that moisture and that is where our O comes in and our O stands for oil. Our oil is used to seal in the moisture added to our hair by the water and the leave-in conditioner. And so because we need an oil, what I'm going to do um, is use my DIY oil that I have created. I know I have not shown you guys this oil yet, but this is the oil I'm using. And I'm just going to do about a quarter size of oil, guys. And then I'm going to apply that all over my hair strands. If you can um, see, guys, my curls are already popping. My hair looks moisturized. It looks hydrated. It already looks healthier and better way better than it looked when I first started the video. You can clearly see how my curls are popping guys. You can clearly see the bounce back that my hair has. And this is because I have properly moisturized my hair both with water and then with a leave-in conditioner and then I am sealing with a cream. So it already looks better. And this is how you properly moisturize your hair, guys. So I want you to keep on watching. I'm gonna do my entire head and let you guys see how I achieve uh, my moisturized look, how I make sure that my hair stays moisturized so that I can retain my length because my goal is to have healthy, long hair. That may not be your goal, but I'm pretty sure your goal is to have healthy hair. So I want you to keep watching, especially for my low porosity girls. I want you to know this is how you properly, properly moisturize and moisture train your hair so that you cut down on breakage and so that you cut down on shedding. So keep watching, okay?
and there you have it guys my hair has been properly moisturized both with water and then a leave-in and then i sealed it up with an oil and that is how you properly moisturize low porosity hair this is the lco method and this is the method i use i know there's others out there but this is the one that works for my low porosity hair so i hope you guys have learned maybe a new way to do things if you haven't already guys make sure you're subscribed to this channel make sure you click that notification bell on the side so that you're notified each time i upload a video and until next time guys i will see you later Bye.